and Madison and I, my frequent collaborator and one of my good friends, we're on the road again. We're a little belated to making this kind of behind the scenes vlog, but we're gonna catch you guys up to speed. It is late August, beautiful weather. We're finding ourselves in Montana and Idaho. You're gonna see some cool places that we traverse across this week that we're doing in kind of the greater Yellowstone perimeter, but for different interesting topics. I'll let you guys know what we're gonna be covering very, very soon, what topics for Conservation Nation, but Conservation Nation behind the scenes look at some cool places Madison and I are checking out. Up when we were cool or hot. I got the ground set up on the bench up there. Here? Okay. Yeah, you tell me what. Okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> because it reflects. So we are in downtown Whitefish. This is a small town just above Kalispell. I haven't been to Whitefish before. So we're gonna check it out and see what there is. It's afternoon time, so on a weekday. So hopefully some things are open. There's a farmer's market. We may get a glimpse of it. And actually we got to see a bear a little earlier. Yeah, it's her birthday, so. Thank you. One of the key focal points that we're visiting in Idaho is Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. It's not quite a national park. It is under the National Park Service designation, and it's also co-managed by Bureau of Land Management. This area is about 600 square miles. We're maybe about an hour and a half away nor uh, northeast of Twin Falls and we're quite below the Sun Valley and it's high desert. We're going to show you some of the cool formations here on this trail that we've selected to peruse and show you what Idaho has to offer just above Magic Valley. For fun context, if you like presidential history, Craters of the Moon was actually designated a national monument through the Antiquities Act when it was about eight years old by one of my favorite presidents, Calvin Coolidge, Silent Cal. So that's kind of cool history if you want to 
pay kind of a tribute to Calvin Coolidge, you can come visit one of the national monuments that he designated. We're checking out the Devil's Orchard Nature Trail. It's one of several trails that exist here at the Craters of the Moon National Monument and Preserve. So we'll give you guys a behind the scenes look and look. What do you think of Craters of the Moon so far? We're on the moon, guys. <laughs> Just happens to be in um, Idaho. Idaho. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Not a conspiracy. Men have been on the moon. Yes. The moon landing was real. Anyone telling you otherwise is a conspiratorial hack. But this is as close to the moon as you can get here in the United States. So you don't have to train with NASA. You don't have to train and you have the mental acumen to go to space and you'll save millions of dollars just by going to Craters of the Moon. <laughs> and I think these are the sagebrush grasslands, grass fields. We couldn't finish our stay in Twin Falls, Idaho without checking out the Shoshone Falls. I think actually some locals pronounce it Shoshone. I've heard Shoshone, correct me if I'm wrong with either pronunciation, but the falls here are considered the Niagara of the West. So we have to check them out. How excited are you, Madison, to check it out? I'm pumped, let's go. And we're gonna be doing this before going kayaking a little down the road in the Snake River. I've fished in the Snake River, I think, years ago when I went to Yellowstone just outside there with my dad, I think it was 13. So I haven't really got to wade in uh, the Snake River before. So we're excited to do like two hours. It's a really good deal with one of the local outfitters. It's like 20 bucks for two hours. Then we're gonna go to a barbecue before we finish up here and then head back to Montana to finish some little B-roll and narration. But we're largely done with filming in Idaho. We're gonna be snaking along the Snake River. It's a, I think, two mile round trip thing. We're gonna try to do it in under two hours or going to a dinner. It's kind of hot, so we're gonna cool off and get our kayak on. Oh. <laughs> 